Hello, welcome back to this video course. In this module, you'll learn how to customize messaging to expand your network. Before we start, let's take a look at a simple breakdown of what you'll be learning. In this module, you'll learn how to draft a message that promises successful engagement and connection. I'll guide you through how to sculpt your subject line, greeting, introduction, body of content, and the closing of an outstanding, high converting message that you can use on LinkedIn messaging. Messaging in LinkedIn is called InMail. You can use InMail to send messages to engage directly with another LinkedIn member you're not connected to. If you have a basic free account, you must upgrade to a premium account to use InMail. LinkedIn InMail runs with the system where you receive a specific number of InMail credits based on your subscription type. You can key in related keywords or search specifically for the person you would like to send a message to. Then right beside their name, click on the InMail button to private message them. So now I shall show you how to write a highly engaging and converting message. First up, your message's subject line. When you send an invitation to connect with someone, you will notice that the subject line box is already automatically filled in. For other messages that you send, do make sure to add a subject line that clearly states the purpose of you sending this message. It's important to intrigue the recipient with your subject line because studies sourced by Convince and Convert have shown that 33% of email recipients open email based on the subject line alone. If your subject line does not intrigue your recipient to open the message, what's the point of having a winner message in the first place if they don't open it? So how to make sure your subject line is good? You need to make sure the recipient thinks that your message was written specifically for them. So it is essential to make your subject line personal and attention grabbing at the same time. The easiest way to convince your recipient that the message is specially written to them is by addressing and mentioning the recipient's name in the subject line. This way has been proven to increase open rates by 26%. Keep your subject line short and straight to the point as well because readers in general do not click into a message with a long subject line. Take a look at this statistics whereby you can see what should the ideal number of characters your subject line be. Next up, greeting. Start your LinkedIn message with a short and personal greeting. Again, you should mention the recipient's name here as well to ensure that he, she will more likely to pay attention to the message at hand. Here's a sample greeting you can use as a reference. Hey Samuel, I've read your latest article on the evolution of internet marketing in the past 10 years and absolutely loved it. Great insights and inspiring. This is a great way to get your recipient's attention. It shows how you know about your recipient and that this greeting is made personal only to him or her. All right, moving on to your introduction. Just like any other first meeting, you have to introduce yourself to the recipient so he or she knows who you are and what you do. Do not jump straight into pitching your offer or idea because it will most likely turn off your recipient. So start off with introducing who you are, including your name, expertise, or position, and a very brief line to explain on your company. Here's an example you can refer to. Now you've reached the main body of your message, which is the content part. Here's where you draft out a content that would serve the purpose of you writing this message. So ask yourself, why are you sending this message in the first place? Is it for an inquiry? Are you trying to pitch an offer or idea? Or you're trying to create engagement to build connection for future needs? If your goal and purpose of writing this message is specific, make sure you get right to the point in your message. This is to avoid wasting your recipient's time and risk having that recipient losing focus or end up not finishing the message. Let me give you three main points to help guide you to draft your content. In order to make your recipient feel engaged in your message, your content should be conversational in the sense that it will spark an urge of wanting to reply in your recipient upon reading your message. Bear in mind that your message should be based on the ground of wanting to start a conversation and build connection, not to seal a deal straight there and then. Then always make sure that it is short, brief, straight to the point, but at the same time sufficient enough to ensure your recipient get a full understanding of the purpose of the message. One great way to intrigue conversation and can increase the chances of your recipient replying your message will be to ask for advice, opinion, or referral. This works magic because it gives them a compelling reason to reply. By doing this, you'll make them feel like you value and need their expertise and network. Lastly, how to write your messages closing. Closing is not just for sales emails, it's also essential in every kind of messaging you do. The most commonly used closing line is, do let me know if you're interested. 
This kind of closing is the most basic and polite approach, but it normally does not get high response rates because it's nowhere near to being a call to action closing. To ensure your recipient will reply to your message, you need to provide a highly specific call to action closing. Most people are busy, sometimes they forget to reply, and they simply won't spend the time thinking of what to reply. Therefore, your closing should provide a clear instruction. For example, would you be able to answer a call at 2 p.m. to further discuss? This approach makes the next step clear to the client and will increase response rates. According to a research done by psychologist Robert Sutton, people are more responsive and willing to help if they've been given clear directions. And that marks the end of this module. You've learned how to strategically draft a compelling message that will help you engage with potential clients on LinkedIn to expand your network. Check out the next module for more.